This event in Manchester is a vital collaboration between Manchester University and the researchers in Rachel Lennon's lab who are working on Allport syndrome. And one of the things that we really want to do is to engage the patients, particularly the younger patients who are the future of Allport syndrome, in the research that the researchers are doing. I think it gives us a real sense of perspective when we come and meet young people with Alport syndrome to understand the disease from their perspective and that to us in research is invaluable. I think one of the problems with Alports is that because it's so rare uh, you don't get the opportunity to meet a lot of people with the same condition. So like with me there's no one in my city that has Alports so we have to come travelling um, to Manchester and um, we get to meet new people. Sometimes I have to like get pulled out of a lesson and I have to explain to my friends what's happening and then my friends forget and then they ask me what's happening again and it's just like annoying so if no one to speak to. What I'm always amazed by is just that curiosity and interest that young people have and when we come together we've got the opportunity for us to help that curiosity and to satisfy to a certain extent. I've gone and looked at the labs and I've understood about a bit what they do and to know what is being done is very encouraging and it gives, it gives me kind of lots of hope for the future. As patients don't get to see that side um, and to humanise people, watch them like moving liquids around and looking at things down microscopes, it's really interesting to feel involved in that process. We're introducing the idea that this disease is a lot bigger than you think and with things like this we could expand it by helping people discuss their disease more because there are some people who don't want to discuss anything like this. Like right now it's not really that big, it's just like a small group but in the future hopefully it gets, the groups get bigger and it's more well known and everyone knows about it so then it's more comforting for people with Alport syndrome.